Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the Texas Instruments uh, TI-83 to calculate normal distributions or z-scores. Um, so here's a, some problems that we have from the uh, Halowski book and what we're going to do is we're going to go in. Okay, we need to go to the distribution which is second distribution and we're going to deal with normal CDF for the first one here because it says um, we have a CD player, uh, life expectancy average of 4.1 years, standard deviation of 1.3 years, and there's a guarantee on it for three years. And they want to know, after all this other stuff that they've put in there, um, what is the probability that it will break down within the three-year period? So we can graph this, and um, here's your graph, and so you'd have your mean, and now we need to we would draw in our mean, we would draw in where three years is, three years is over here, and we want to find out the probability that it's going to be less than three years. So when we do less than, we use our well, we are our calculator, normal CDF. Now we have to put in a low point. I always put in negative as close to negative infinity as I get and can, because I know it's the smallest number I can put in. So negative one and then we use the second e to the 99th power. Now this means I have a negative 1 followed by 99 zeros. Really, really, really small negative power. Far as away from zero as we can put into our calculator. Comma. Now we need to put in the upper bound. And in this case, the upper bound is going to be 3. Because that is uh, when our guarantee expires. Then we have to put in our mean and our standard deviation. So in this case, our mean is 4.1 years. 4.1 and our standard deviation is 1.3 and so we have all of our pieces in and we hit enter okay this will tell us that there is a 20 percent chance of the CD failing within the three-year period okay so this is anything less than three years now what if we want to do greater than? Well, if we want to do greater than, I'm assuming that is our next problem here. Oh, no, nope, the next problem here is between 2.8 and 6 years. Okay, well, we're going to do the same thing. We have to have a lower bound and an upper bound. But in this case, we've been given what those lower bound and upper bound are going to be. Our lower bound is going to be 2.8, and our upper bound is going to be 6. So, again, normal CDF. We have a lower bound of 2.8, an upper bound of 6, and we still have the same uh, mean and standard deviation, so 4.1 and 1.3. And we hit enter, and now we get that value. If we are given a greater than. So this is if we have between. We have to. We've been given our two bounds. If we have to do a greater than, let's assume that they've given us one. They didn't. Um, so let's find the probability that it's going to be greater than a value, say five years. So second CDF. Now in this case we have a greater than five years or at least five years so our lower bound is going to be five and then we're going to use an upper bound and again I use the biggest number the calculator can take which is one followed by 99 zeros and then I put in my mean and standard deviation Four point one and one and then hit enter and that will give me my greater than so if I have to do less than I always 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 put the lowest number in I possibly can if I'm doing greater than I put the largest number I possibly can into my calculator and if I'm putting in between I take the two bounds that were given to me so remember you have to put the, the uh, way to put this in is lower bound upper bound mean and then standard deviation okay so that is how you use the calculator to count to find normal CDF to find the percentage under the curve. Now, 
in the next problem here they have in the book, we are actually trying to find the inverse. We've been given a probability and we need to find the inverse on that. And then here they're saying the lower 70%. So to do that one, we use the inverse normal function. And what we do, similar thing, we have to put in the probability. So we want to know the probability of finding below 70%. And inverse normal can only find below. If you have to find above, you have to subtract that value from 1. If you want to find between, you have to do the two together and then subtract the two pieces. So inverse normal will only find the area below a curve, so less than. So we put in our value of 0.7. Then we put in our mean and standard deviation 4.1 and 1.3. And this will return 4.8 years. So 70% of the time the CD will player will fail within four, uh, uh, by four point, almost 4.8 years. And that's what the inverse normal function is.